morning and welcome back to another episode of my wonderful family favorites. Today I'm going to make one of Gino's favorite because he's pretty hungry for breakfast. So I'm going to make an omelet. And you know omelets are a funny things. They're, they're, they can be great, they can be easy, but I find it hard to just whip up an omelet. Gino likes his eggs really well done. So what I do is I make almost like a frittata. So what we're going to do is to start out, you're going to need of course three farm fresh eggs. Uh, if you can get the farm fresh ones, those are the best. So I have those in my bowl. Um, I use anything in my fridge. Gosh, whatever you have, spinach, mushrooms, whatever. This today I'm going to make, I have some fresh basil, to, um, cherry tomatoes cut in half, avocado, and shallot. It's going to be delicious. And then cheese, again, whatever cheese you have in your fridge. I have some cheddar and some pepper jack. Gino really loves pepper jack, so it'll give it a little bite, so he'll love that. So here we go. So I have my mineral pan. And uh, this is a great pan, actually, for making omelets. I don't know where Gino got it, a garage sale or something, but he had it hidden around, and I've been using it ever since, and it's great if you have a pan like this. I also have, um, this is a cast iron skillet that I have that has the concave sides. I, sides. I really love it. Um, if you have something like that, I don't really like Teflon or nonstick. Um, I, I really like to make my cast ironware nonstick ware. I think it works out great. So I put a little oil in my pan. It's heating up. I'm going to put a little butter in there too. A little bit of butter. Mm. It's start sizzling right away. Okay, my eggs. My three eggs. I'm going to do a little splash of fresh milk. That's probably about a tablespoon. I have some Mrs. Wonderful salt. Just a dash of that. I'm going to use the Mrs. Wonderful Montana blend today. Uh, but eat any of these would go great. You could use the... Um, I have the Tuscan or the Provence. They're all delicious. I just crushed it a little bit, put it in there, but I forget. Oh, pepper. Uh -oh. My pans, my pots. My pans like almost ready, so I better whip these guys up. Okay. The butter and oil is nice and hot. Try to whip up as much as you can there. Get some good air into those eggs. That happens once in a while too, but then you just start anew. <laughs> so this is getting all ready. Pull them, pull the, pull the sides in a little bit. Now I'm gonna heat up this other pan because I'm gonna flip it into this other pan. Um, it's really easy actually to flip it for some reason, but if you need to, you can always take a plate, flip it out onto a plate, and then slide it on here. So that's a possibility. Put a little oil in this pan. Let that heat up. And I call this an Avendanza omelet because, uh, well, you'll see why. It's a pretty, pretty hearty omelet. <laughs> this omelet looks like he's like ready to flip. See the edges are easy, easy to move around there. And so this pan, I'm going to just flip the one into the other. You have to do it. You have to, you have to be quick here <laughs> just because that's kind of how it is. So there we go. I'll actually switch this over here so you can see it better. Oops. That was perfect. So now, just start loading up on one half all your good things. I have here mm, some cherry tomatoes. Gino loves this combination. Look at all that. That's plenty. <laughs> some shallot. Mm. We don't want to put too much in there. <laughs> and some avocado. And like I said, any combination. If you don't have avocado, just do uh, tomato and onion or whatever you have in your refrigerator. I do like to put a little fresh basil in there. And I always have a fresh basil plant in my house. And it'll give it such good flavor. There we go. Mm, looks beautiful. So I'm now I'm going to put a little bit of cheddar cheese on there and a little bit of pepper jack. Look at all that cheese, wow. <laughs> See, I told you, that's why I call it Avondanza. Okay, now, just take something, this thing is invaluable to me. I don't know if this is a fish turner or what, but Gino found this at a uh, garage sale, and uh, he and we've been using it ever since. I, I couldn't go a day without it. It's kind of flexible, so it really works well. So here we go, we're gonna flip it. 
push it kind of a little in the middle there. That looked fabulous. Put a top on it and let all that good stuff melt. So this is going to take just a couple minutes. Let's take a look at the omelet and see if it's done. Mm, perfect. Look at that. Delicious. All right. So try to get it onto the plate here. Loose in the bottom where all that wonderful cheese is sticking. And see if we can just slide it on. Mm. All that extra stuff on there. Okay. Turn it this way. A couple pieces of bacon for Gino. He's just going to love it. And I made these fabulous muffins. And what I do is make them, freeze them, and then pull them out. Just put them in the, uh, put them in the toaster oven and heat them up. They're really delicious. They're whole grain, spelt with some blueberries and orange zest. They're really delicious and really good natural sugar. So what a fabulous breakfast. And don't forget, go to Mrs. Wonderful and go to my blog, and, which you can get to through my website, and get the recipe for these fabulous muffins. Really delicious. And check out the Mrs. Wonderful Sea Salt Herbal Blend. They're delicious and they'll just transform your cooking. So go to mrswonderful.net, check it out. But in the meantime, enjoy.